Tarkov is a game of struggle and triumph. It's something we as Tarkov players are all too familiar with. And this story I've got for you today has plenty of that. In fact, this is the craziest thing I've done in Tarkov. Because it wasn't like any other Tarkov wipe. I needed a challenge. Something that was going to push me to the edge even more so than Tarkov already does. So, I decided to use the Packer body armor all the way to max traders. And if you don't know what that is, it's that crappy little class 2 armor that's barely good enough to protect you from scavs. But it looks nice, right? Anyway, guys, this is an incredible journey that I cannot wait to show you. So let's get into it. Let's go to uh, the med camp though, I think. Nice, bro. That's what we like. What hoi? Alright, could have been cleaner, but we are alive. It does feel real quiet. I don't want to stick around here too long because I do kind of want to go... Alright, let's go kill this scav. Jesus, man. Okay. Someone's dividing cheeks. It's a 155 shotgun. It's not the one we need. Let's head around. Outskirts. Oh. Okay. This just got a little bit more interesting. Okay. Oh, it's shooting out flares, bro. Yo, that's sick. Dude. That is insane. Look at it. What the... Okay, I am kind of heading that way. Oh, I don't really want to go for this, but opportunity has presented. Oh, do I do it, chat? Do I greed it? I think we just greed it, you know? I just want a good gun. Oh, that's a scar. Oh, lovely. What's that? Oh. I need one more scab kill. Come on, this would be a huge first raid. Okay, boys. Okay, then. 5.4k XP seven scabs. That is what we like. Seven scabs, an airdrop, and a bunch of loot. As far as first raids go, that was pretty insane. But now, it's time to speed things up a bit. Oh, no! This is going to be a struggle to get out of this raid, but it's going to be worth it if we do. Hell yeah. Okay. Third raid. Someone took two loot, so now we're two loot. There's a guy right there. Oh. 
Oh, no. GG, bro. Now we're gaming, chat. Oh. Good aim. Oh, GG, bro. One guy dead. Alright, two guys dead. Alright, what a massive fucking raid. Alright, that was a fucking sick raid. There's a good chance that I just get killed by a bush. But, you know, this is a risk that we need to take, unfortunately. Yep, GG. <laughs> After a run like that, you kind of had to expect something bad was waiting for me just around the corner. That didn't stop me jumping back into it, though. I'm sure there's a guy in that building. Alright, GG. Well, he just got sent to fucking Valhalla. Where from? Oh, there was a guy on the other side of train tracks, bro. That is so dumb. There's one. Hee <laughs> Payback! That was fun, but my victory was short-lived. Oh, dude, with no luck on customs, I decided to try and get my pistol kills quest done on factory. You just reload. How quick did he reload? His man got sleight of hand pro. Fucking hell, what's he gonna get fucking commando pro next and fucking knife me across the map? Fuck off. Fully determined to get my pistol kills, I ran it back in. <laughs> bye bye. Fucking penis helmet warriors, bro! Alright, so this thing is meant to be good. With my lack of success showing, someone in chat recommended I use the 1911. And since all the other pistols were feeling super weak, I thought I'd give it a go. It turns out that FMJ Early White packs a bit of a punch. Oh! Okay. Not bad. I had a pretty good survival streak going, but I kind of ruined it doing factory pistol kills. It's over. Somehow I'm not dead. I feel like I'm gonna die here. I wonder if I can get the pocket watch. Whoa, look. No! Someone's fucking camping it. Unbelievable.
It was getting pretty rough for me. I really needed a win right about now. I mean, I was getting a lot of quests done, sure, but I was also getting really unlucky, and it had started chipping away at my mental. I was basically out of kits and rubles too, so I had to make a play. I mustered together a somewhat modded SKS with what I had left, in the hopes I could turn things around. So look in this jacket. Empty. Good start. Wait, steps, scabs. Oh, oh, oh my god. Wait, I see him. He's dead. Oh! Wait, Android? Yep. I'm going up to the hill right side. Let's try cut him off. I don't see him anywhere. I'm going to the top of the hill. Is that you on ground here? No, 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 no. Run towards you, run towards you. Hit one stomach. Dead. Nice. I think this, this shot's now the other guy that we saw. Oh, no way. I, see, I actually see his head. Hey, one second, I'm going to scoop this and I'll be right there. Oh, yes, is worth it. Fuck me. With past failures still fresh in the back of my mind, I was hesitant to even get involved here. Oh, I'm going to push up. I think I can tap this guy in the back of the head. I don't know. Yeah, dead guy on the road here. Can't tell if that's a PMC or not. RUAF is one of the most dangerous places to get caught in a fight. So if I wanted this win here, I had to be on my A game. There's a scav here. Oh wait, he's shooting? Wait, I think he's going for the, the body. He's like on the he's like on the edge of the road, Joe, I think. Like where the barricade is. Oh yeah, wait. So I can't tell if this is a scav or not. Oh wait, there's there is a dead PMC here, I think. Carefully, could be close. Could be close around that wall. This is me. These rocks are clear. This is clear. Oh, in the bus stop! In the bus stop! One guy in the bus stop and one at the uh, van, the truck, the extract. Oh shit, yeah. Oh, you have it. Also, oh, you have dead. Bus stop left. Okay. Wait, he's going steady. Oh, no, he's not. He's not. He's not. Oh no, Joe. Wowzers, helmets are worth it. We lost Joe in the process, but this was about to be my biggest raid yet. Oh, and I should probably point out that although I'm doing packer only this wipe. I'm allowing myself to swap my armor in raid, mainly so I can sell it for extra bank. Hence why I've got Joe's M2 rig on right now. Cheers, Joe.
three kills. Not the best, not the worst. That truly was the pick me up I needed. Once again, I turned in a bunch of quest items and ran it back into customs. Where I know. And I was growing quite the attachment to the SKS. That's less than ideal. I think I just outplayed them though. I think that's just what happened. 20 bullets and a mag each was good enough apparently. Oh my goodness. Is this going to dehydrate me? Only five. Okay, worth. Might have to drop some of these helmets at some point. Don't fuck with me! Don't you fuck with me! Hello, bro. What is that? Uh, are you friendly? I mean, I'm not really looking to kill anybody. I'm just, I'm trying to find some keys, bro. Okay, I'm I'm gonna come out. I'm gonna come out. I'm I'm showing myself. I'm not gonna kill you, bro. Are you on the Are you on this floor? Oh, there you are. I see you. Whoa. Oh, okay, that's your knife. Okay. All right, bro. Yeah, don't worry. I'm not gonna kill you. All right. Uh, what's what? I'm gonna come down to you. I'm gonna come down. What quest are you doing? What quest are you doing, bro? Mm, don't quest. Oh, you're not questing. Okay. I'm looting. Okay, all right. I I will let you, I will let you loot, bro. Uh, I'm just looking for jackets. I'm trying to find some keys. Okay. Okay, bro. I go. Okay, see you. See you. Ay, господи, как же достал уже это все. I don't know about you, but I'm slowly getting more friendly encounters on VoIP. It's scary, but it's good to see, man. Anyway, it's time to get more quest items, and Woods is just on another level for loot. Okay. <laughs> like, usually I don't get like anxious playing this game, but I'm I am anxious right now. I I am waiting in anticipa anticipation. Uh. I'm gonna leave him. I'm not even gonna loot him. I'm running. Oh, but what if he has morphines on him? Shit. The greed. Greed kicked in, chat. He had a tier 6 armor. His backpack's empty. What? God, the things I do for a fucking quest. I need to get thorax shots. I didn't want to reveal myself, but then I realized I could just greed for a quest point, so... Just a BM. Somebody was stalking him. <laughs> Saved his life. <laughs> You're welcome, bro. Bad raid, a lot of valuables. 
car battery, lunchbox, kek. <laughs> so many survivors. All right, perfect spawn. After spamming woods for a bit, I was back on customs for quests. And for good reason too. We were really closing in on level 15. Hello, bro. Uh, I'm not going to kill you, bro. I'm friendly. I'm just trying to do my quest item. I, I, I do my quest and I leave, okay? You can have all the loot. Let me run away now and you can come in. I've looted nothing else. I'm just doing my quest, bro. I'll see you later. Hello, bro. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. As if I've just made two friends in the woods. <laughs> Sorry. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. After the last attempt, you could say I was a little anxious about doing this. Wow. That was a bit mental. Why am I getting such stressful raids, man? Blitzing through them, though. I like that. At this point, we were seriously closing in on level 15, which is a massive milestone because it allows us to have access to the flea market. All the loot we've been hoarding, playing Tetris in our stash, trying to make stuff fit, was about to be offloaded. And hopefully, a nice little boost to our money situation too. These next raids were a bit scrappy, but I just needed to get through it. Okay, so that was nice. Two PMT kills. Good stuff. Dark off shooter. Okay. We'd finally made it to level 15, our first big achievement of this journey. And with a bunch of the early content out of the way too, I had my sights set on the Jaeger questline. It was time to get the Bowies out. Oh yeah, he's very much of the land of the dead. Times a charm, I guess. Okay, I should be able to get this. Exactly 5k. <sighs> if I can sell this on the fleet, I'll make bank. Let's go, bro. 6.4k XP. Bye bye. I, I think I still need Wilsons.
Ah. Ah, yes. Things hadn't exactly gone how I planned. But sometimes, no matter what you do in Tarkov, it just doesn't go your way. And that's okay. I was still feeling confident, and I knew I was in this one for the long run. Using a bolt action will inherently put you at a disadvantage, so I just needed to pick myself back up and get on with it. This was just a small part of our journey after all. Also, it wasn't all bad. I'd been collecting various quest items from the raids I had survived, and before I knew it, I needed to go back to customs to mark up some tankers. That's not good. I'm just better, bro. Come on, please. 5.4k XP, three kills. I'm scared to go down there because this guy, like, close range will just eat me alive. This guy's fucking good. <laughs> and before he has a friend. <sighs> wow. Wowie. Bro, I've just been stalked by this Russian man for the last, I don't know, 10 minutes. Oh, I need this spark plug. Right, gas probably isn't going to be open, is it? Knowing my luck? Nope. It was pretty risky coming here so late into the raid, especially considering it's such a popular scab and PMC extract. That being said, it looked like we were going to get away with this one. Agreed the scav kill. Oh no, not like this. That's a grenade. <laughs> Fucking hell. 5.6k XP, some huge raids, 12 scavs. Oh, good night. Am I cheating? Am I actually good? OK, 
Okay. Not bad raid. Killed some gamers. That's Tagila. Okay. <laughs> Fuck me then. So I was meant to run factory with this kit, but I accidentally brought it into customs. And then, uh, actually just watch this. Oh, I actually shot his leg out. GG. Oh, the loot. Player scavs are starting to spawn in, and this is a pretty hot area, so. Poor sausage. Oh, that's an MDR. Rig. I'll have to put that on. Oh, it's full. Okay. An interesting turn of events. Now it's time to carry on with some quests. <laughs> Mario stomped that dude. <laughs> Jesus. That's a bloke. I was seeing flashlights. How'd that guy get in there so quick? Uh, I forget where all of these fucking places are that I'm meant to loot now. Huh. Oh, it was a guy. I just thought I might be running into a scav boss or something. Ah, that's nice. It'd be nice to get a uh, march from kit at some point. How do you get them? Do you just can you get them in jackets like randomly? Huh. Yeah, you can. Okay. Morphine. Ooh. Ooh. What is this? I don't know if that's good, but I'm just gonna put that shit in there.
We got a lot of good shit from just safes. Oh yeah, this is open. A juicy fucking raid this has been. Custom safe runs are pretty fucking good then, I guess. Ooh, okay. Mind if I do? Cheeky little raid that was. Look at Intel, Bikisi's book, diary, safe key. Bro, we got it all. Okay. So we are kind of struggling with success. We've just blasted through a bunch of quests. Level 20. What are the stats saying? 62% survival rate, 60 raids, 64 raids. PMC kills, maybe? 72 PMCs, 64 raids. I'm not trying to fight people, but I just can't avoid it. Survival Streak 5 as well. We had a few slippery moments along the way, but things kind of ironed out in the end. And although it's still somewhat early on, I was pretty happy with my progress so far. All right, so what you're about to see here is my attempt at planting the SV-98 on Shoreline. I'd just woken up for the day and it was my first raid. I didn't really fancy fighting anyone, so I just went in naked to see what would happen. Hello, 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 bro. Are you placing? Are you placing the uh, sniper? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not gonna shoot you, bro. Let's go, let's go. I've got a also. Okay, thank you, man. Thank you. Fuck this. I hate this quest. Yeah, same here, bro. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> thank God. GG, I'm man. <laughs> GG's. Ну что, объединим усилия? Hey bro, uh, do you need a PM pistol? Do you need the PM pistol for a quest? Uh, yeah, if there's a combo. Uh, here, if you oh, need thank it. You, thank you, Nice thank man. You. No worries, I see you later. I'm gonna extract here, okay? Yeah, goodbye, my friend. Hey, down for a party? Bye bye, man. Bye bye. Are you the uh, YouTuber? <laughs> Alright, now it's time to really speed things up a bit. You might have noticed how I was hitting up a lot of those saves on customs earlier. Well, turns out they're insanely good for money. And considering I need to find flash drives too, it seemed like a good idea to farm these bad boys.
take the quick reset. George with the one bit as well. Thank you, lad. Oh, SSD. <laughs> Sass drive? Okay. Oh, what the fuck? Please take me away. That was a player scav. Bro, that was the thickest fucking raid. Like, wh what is this? Look at this. Custom safes, everybody. Sass, McKeezy book, diary. Sass, power bank, SSD, book. Ah, oh, yes. Odin, bro. Oh! All right, let's use this and get out. Okay, now that was a chonky one. Bye, guys. That's my survival streak gone. <laughs> to a guy camping fucking Tarkon. That was my first death in I don't know how long, so I'm not even going to complain about that. I was finally finding my feet though. And what's strange is, it didn't really occur to me that I was using only a packer. It just felt like normal Tarkov. We'll touch more on this later though. He's dead. Oh, I'm being shot at. Is that you shooting at me? <laughs> He's dead. Careful, there could be another one. Definitely didn't think that was you. He's dead. 12k XP. After those last couple of raids, things were really starting to pick up for me. I had a bunch of items to turn in, including all of the flash drives I needed for the quest. Those saves were really worth it. But my pal Magnus was still in need of a couple, so we ran a few raids just to finish off his quest too. Come take this. Uh, there you Oh wait, one of the tanks is here. Have you got tanks? No. I've got the ambulance. Amber lamps. Ah, uh, amber lamps. <laughs> <laughs> There's two down by the tunnel. No, I got two ambulance. Yeah, we need to be a little careful. Need to be careful or I'm gonna end up in the ambulance. At this stage, I'd gotten most of the early game quests done and it was time to smash out some shoreline. Since shoreline isn't the most enjoyable for me as a solo, We've got Magnus with us to keep things interesting. And I mark the other ambulance while the <laughs> detect objective is on. I'm trying. I think I need to mark something here. Mark this? Yeah. Oh, is this a ambulance we need to mark? No. But you need to... Do you need to find these things? Uh, maybe. Okay. 
Yeah, they're being weird. I've got Mark II things here. That's the only bad thing. This thing I think it is. Oh, yeah. Thank you. I don't know how I was this lucky, but I was on my way to complete like three quests in one raid. And this wouldn't be the first time I did this either. So thank you, Nikita, for keeping me safe on Shoreline. need to mark this yeah this is the body or if there's no i've done it i've done it, it was the first one what the fuck brothers that poop together loot together <laughs> <laughs> that is horrid why does that even exist Oh my goodness. What's up? Okay, it's nothing. Oh, what have you done to your head? <laughs> your head is massive, bro. <laughs> so oh, Magnus. There's a guy right in front yeah. of us. I'm far back. I'm seeing my thing. Yeah, how far? Whereabouts? Just killed two guys. I'm gonna start loading up. Uh, Magnus, this guy. Oh, he's level 20. Sorry. Oh. I didn't kill you, did I? No. Oh, okay. Turns out this guy wasn't dead. He's dead now. That was weird. Wait, I'm sure I saw him drop, bro. I'm sure. Did he just... Wait, there's a... Is that a scav? That uh, was a scav. Bro, I'm sure. Huh? Wait. Oh. Wait, that's a tree. Are you... Okay. Cheese of the Prime, thank you so much, dude. <laughs> cabbage Man. <laughs> Alright, that's your new name, mate. Cabbage Man. You've gone from Pom Pom Bandit to Cabbage Man. <laughs> cabbage Man. <laughs> so tired of this walking. Oh, look at him! Goddamn pussy! <laughs> oh, did I just see somebody? I can't remember. I can't remember. Hang on, that's not the right word. Um. Oh, is that him? Oh. Yep, yeah, there is a guy here. He's got a pilgrim. Against the back wall, like, behind this bush, like... He's dead, don't worry. Okay. Oh, at the fence. Wait, I just shot him in the head, but he didn't die. The stairs? He's dead. <laughs> what just... <laughs> Stop it, bro. Wait, Magnus Lean? No, 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 shoot everything. You can't see me. They were scabs. They're down the hall. Where are you? Are you stuck in a room? Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Perfect opportunity. Did I get him? I heard him.
There's one in the stairs and there's one to the left here, I think, maybe. Still in the stairs. He peeked when you ran up. Was he lower or upper stairs? Lower or upper? Mm. Killed one. Not bad raid. Got a lot of quest items out. Oh, sorry. GG. Finish drinking my water. Okay. That looked pretty painless, right? Almost like I was doing really well. Um, that's because I was. To my surprise, this whole thing had been going way better than I expected. Well, the thing about Tarkov is, no matter how much experience you have, sometimes luck just won't be on your side. Anything can happen, really. And all this confidence I was building, rubles I was making, and weapons I'd collected. Well, all that could come crashing down at any point. It has to. It's more a question of when and how hard it's going to hit. Oh, I actually killed him. GG. Let's do something very stupid and loot this guy. Is it worth it? A Yonka. What the fuck just happened? There he is. Sombrero with a tier one sub. Thank you, mate. He's dead. Killed one. Oh, that's awkward. I think I got one. I used to heal down. Double bleed. I think there might be a three then. Yeah, he's dead. Look. You good? Nope. Ah! Oh! You get you, did he? Yeah, that was so shit by me, bro. Oh, I shouldn't have fully autoed it. I should have just tapped him in the head. I saw him sitting there. That is so bad. After a few quests on customs, we were back to shoreline again. Just shot a guy in the head at the ambulance. The ambulance. Nice. He needs some milk. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you say it like that? <laughs> One dead. Oh shit. He's dead. I'm out of stamina. He's in the middle, middle uh, runway thingy. Towards the shush, 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 shush. How the fuck do you say it? Church. 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 <laughs> the Jesus place. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, I've messed that one up. Yeah, I messed that one up massively, mate. Is he dead? Good. Yeah, he's dead. Uh, oofs. Oofs. What do you mean, oofs? What's that? Oofs. <laughs> What's oofs? It's, it's, it's an oofs. Need to show you the oofs. Show me the oofs? Okay. Alright, show me the oofs. The oofs. Oh! 
Oofs. Okay. All right, I'm with you. Let's go. Oofs. Uh oh, I'm exhausted. Damn, I'm exhausted. <laughs> Damn, I'm exhausted. Why does he sound French? Damn, I'm exhausted. We need to take a break. <laughs> as fun as all that was, it didn't last long. They're pushing me out. I just shot a guy in the head, he didn't die. I'm dead. Both of them ate a headshot from me each. <laughs> oh. Bro, I've just triple headshotted the twat. Hello there. I think I've just been killed by a scav. Nah, this game's fucking with me. This game's actually fucking with me. I've just put five bullets in the man's head. How many headshots do you want to eat, pal? I hear somebody. Oh, there's one guy. Just killed a guy camping here. Huh. Oh. <laughs> yes. Scab on the inside. Scab on the inside, yeah. M856A1, by the way. Died in one bullet. Good raids, had some rough deaths, uh, but not too many. Yeah, I've had a lot of heartbreakers. Uh, oh. uh, Did you just get one tap? I just got one tapped. He's dead. Finally, bro. I've just killed him. Wait, there's a dead guy here. Who killed this man? Broken legs. Wait, you killed this guy with a nade? Damn, what? I never thought I'd hear that come out of Magnus's mouth. Oh my goodness. Dead man here. I don't think I killed that guy though. Oh, apparently I did. I've been a bit all over the place for quests, but it was time to start hitting up interchange. PMC or scav? Oh! Ah! Oh. Ah! Oh. It's two, 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 one more. Oh, I'm dead. Back left, bro. Fuck. Inertia, man. I just got fucking slumped. That is so sad. That is really sad. I'm dead as well. <laughs> oh, I see him. Help me. He's dead. Hello. Hello. <laughs> He's dead. Jesus Christ. Did you think got him? <laughs> yeah, yeah he's, he's very he's fucked, mate. That was a that was borderline abusive. 
I'm dead. Very good, very nice. He's dead. I almost, ah. I think, I, I almost just killed you, I won't lie. That was close. <laughs> <laughs> I did kill a guy though. Oh, there's a guy in Ollie. Where? He's dead. Yeep. Ah. Are you doing a 360 nade? <laughs> that's vandalism, bro. That, that's vandalism. Okay, that was a terrible grenade. I don't think there's anybody down there. Yeah, maybe. Oh, th is that you? Is that you by the boxes? This is me. I'm dead. That's the worst desync I've ever seen. Holy hell. Uh, Magnus? Ma Magnus? Magnus. I'll have a Magnus, please. It's me. <laughs> huh. Flashlight. See, uh, see flashlight. I'm dead. <gasps> GG. <laughs> Maybe you naded him then. Maybe. No. I'm dead. <laughs> Hiccups. I'm dead to kill her. Fuck! It was a proper light hole, someone. I'm gonna die. This is the worst desync I've ever seen. I've just been shot. Wasn't that the scav? I don't know. I didn't hear anything. Excuse me, from where? He's going up the other ramp. Oh, I thought that was you. I'm dead. Are you? Woohoo! 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 I see a guy. Do you see the guy in the field? Yeah. There's two. There's two. Yeah, kill them. You need them. Both of them. Go for it. That's one. That's two. I'm dead. I'm dead. He just peeks me. I, I just I what? He just instant head eyes. <laughs> this had to be my lowest moment of the wipe so far. I laughed it off, but deep down I was feeling pretty crushed. I was so drained by constantly dying even when it felt like I was in a winning scenario that it had really gotten to me. It wasn't just that either, but I'd been burning through SVDs at a ridiculous rate, and they're expensive. I was literally down to my last kit, and all of a sudden, it just felt like all the confidence I'd built and the gains I'd made so far had just been undone by a stupid quest to get SVD kills. I didn't feel in control anymore, and that progress I'd made felt like it was slipping away. But in a game like Tarkov, if you want to get things done, you can't give up. You have to push yourself through the hardest parts and make it happen. There's a guy camping around the corner. Fuck.
Fuck you, Propor. I fucking survived. Jesus, man. That quest took one hell of a hit to my confidence, but we made it through. And I'm happy to say it was time to switch things up as well. So let's get into it. Hello, bro. I would just like to inform you that I'm running behind you and I'm going to shoot you in the back of the head. So be ready in three, two, one. Sorry, bro. Wowzers. Oh, there's a quest done. Fucking hell, that shadow scared me. Oh, wow, we. Now we're going to get a taste of some uncharted territory, some end game content. It was time for some lighthouse. I think we need to mark this thing right here. Just walk over this area, I think. Voice me. Okay, there's one on my right then. I have no clue where you are. Are you downstairs? I killed a guy. That's me. Is that you? No, 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 no. Just killed two guys. I got you. <gasps> ah, thank you. Yeah, extract's just here, Magnus. Excuse me. I'm dead. Oh no. Oh shit, I'm staring at him. He was just prone on the rock above us. I'm just running at him. If I die, I'm dead. I'm dead! Where did you get shot from? Upstairs. I just got shot by a scav. Oh yeah, that bloke completely murdered me. Good and proper. But it's okay, we go next. What the fuck? Look at this dude. Oh, what the fuck? I'm actually getting shot by somebody else as well. Oh! I don't see any problems here. I was doing absolutely fine. Magnus, on the other hand? I'm just kidding. We both had our fair share of falling overs, but that didn't stop us from what was otherwise a very pleasant time on Lighthouse. Wait, I see a guy. Oh my god, they're fucking out in numbers, mate. Look at this! What the fuck? The fuck it, mate. These, I don't know where or why they just keep spawning in. Kind of mad. <laughs> I'm cheating, bro. I'm cheating.
broke his legs first so he couldn't move. 10.5k XP. In these offices, maybe? Yeah, I think so. And it might be the streaming room down here as well. I'm not sure. Oh, I found document. Yeah? <laughs> document. I feel like document. Yeah. Oh, wait. <gasps> Please mark. Need to mark it indeed, okay. Oh, I found it, Magnus. Holy shit. Oh. Give me, give me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's it, right? I think we've done everything. Do you have money for the car? Or do we even have that extract? Wait. But doesn't we have northern? We have northern, yeah, so we can just walk yeah. out. Okay. We can just go this way. Yo, Bao, thank you so much for the five months of Prime, dude. Как насчет объединиться? Okay, that was a pretty fucking epic raid. And an epic raid it was indeed. I was level 36 at this point and it finally felt like there was light at the end of the tunnel. Although we got caught up on the SVD quest earlier, we bounced back pretty hard. It might have been one of my hardest battles, but I wasn't the one struggling anymore. I'd accumulated a lot of wealth and I was blasting through my quests. He's right in front of me though. I'm following the mountain to the right. Real fast. Just don't walk on the Without grass. Dying. Don't walk. Ah! I'm dead. Are you actually dead? Yep. Alright, well, there's only one thing to do now. Killed the one on the right at the front. Shit on it with a wizard stick. Oh, in the doorway, I'm dead. Fuck. But it didn't matter. We were on the home stretch now, and I gave it everything. Turn that in real quick. Boom. There was one time this entire wipe when I went into raid without a packer, and that was to complete the peacekeeper quests in Unter Armour. And that's exactly what you're seeing now. What are you doing, little man? He's keeping mission done. What a shot. What the fuck is he doing there? Oh, you've just eaten a headshot, have you?
After spending a little bit of time on interchange, we managed to smash out decontamination service. And that's a huge quest. Second guy dead. Wowzers, that guy was fucking juiced. Going towards crack house. Might have just killed one, I don't know. Inside the cabin. Yeah, I saw. He's dead. Oh, okay, yeah, that's why you didn't kill him. This was a nasty shot, I won't lie. Oh, an essay. Whenever I had the chance, I was using a bolt action whilst doing other quests to level up my sniper skill. I know a lot of people dislike this quest line, but it's good XP and it pays to multitask. This next raid on reserve was one of my best all wipe. It wasn't the most glamorous raid, but I played it really, really well. There's a guy to my right. Two PMCs. There's something in here as well. Oh. oh no, Magnus. I might have fucked us! Run! <laughs> Shit! Kill one thing. There's seven other people here. Oh my god! Couple of raiders. All right, shall I try grenade them? I've got an impact. Nope. Careful, right. Uh -huh. Cover, cover, cover. Kill two. I'm low. I Kill backed three. up. I backed up. <gasps> Come get some. <laughs> There's more. I think so. That was water. Oh, one more. I don't have an angle. Are you going up behind them? Yeah, I'm coming down where we first came down. Did you kill the MP5 guy, the bald one? I have no clue. Yeah, you must have. I just oh, heard of- Oh, there's two more. The fuck? I'm dead. A raider? I think so. Yeah. He's dead. What the fuck has happened here? <laughs> There's literally a million dead things. Oh, bro. Maybe I take this guy's armor. It's steps, great. Ah, oh, BS. What?
AVS. It's pretty huge. Use that for storage. Fuck this armor, bro. Don't think I should take it. Unless I find a massive rig, I'll take it. Yes. I'm dead. played this one off pretty cool, but it just goes to show how far staying calm and placing a well-timed shot can get you. I really needed to focus on picking up the loot now though, because there was a lot on the floor. What the fuck? Pretty sure those were the guys that I was hearing running around the whole time, so that's fine. These mags are worth They're like 20k each, and then the ammo inside's like 600 rubles around. More steps, great. I don't think there's any getting out of this raid chat. Just not what I wanted in my ears, I won't lie. I'll turn that down for you lads. Killed him with a nade. 
A cheeky player scav came into D2 and tried to rob all my loot. I got a little bit lucky here with guessing where he was and managed to land a perfect nade. Yeah, that's what we needed. His rig's bugged. Huge, 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 huge. Okay, it's been opened. D2 camper incoming. That, that will probably happen to me, I won't lie. get to loot everything i really wanted that tv rig that would have really been the icing on the cake but game bug <sighs> what the fuck what was that raid bro oh my god <sighs> that was Probably the best reserve raid I've had in a very long time, like in terms of how I played, I think. And it really was. Looking back at this game, I played that really well. I took risks, but they were calculated. It might not have been the most flashy game you've seen in your life, but being good at something doesn't just mean you're capable of doing crazy things. Anyone can do that. Being good means consistently making smart decisions and knowing your limits. You don't have to have the best aim or movement in the world to be a good player in Tarkov. This moment of reflection kind of made me realise how far I've come, the struggles we've been through, and how I've had to adapt. I've learnt a lot, and I think what I'm about to share might be an eye-opener for some. You see, armour is a double-edged sword in Tarkov. It can feel so strong sometimes that you feel indestructible, and other times, you just get one-tapped. But there's two main reasons why armour can feel irrelevant. The first, positioning trumps armour. As cheesy as it sounds, sometimes you don't directly need to be in a fight to win it. If you can outposition someone for a kill, you're not going to need your armor at all. I mean, you don't need armor if you don't get shot, right? And secondly, good ammo. It doesn't matter what armor you wear against certain players. If they're running good ammo, you're dead in about the same time either way. Or if you get headshot, then it's bye bye to your shiny untouched armor. With all that being said, armor isn't totally useless, and it's probably way stronger than you think. I believe armor should be thought of as a mentality. It's never guaranteed to save you, but with it, you have a higher chance of survival. And it doesn't save you from bullets, but from your own mistakes. Although the journey in this video was to max traders, I've actually continued to use Packer only to Kappa. And in many instances, I've been playing with pals who have been using class 4 armor, and we both died in the same amount of bullets to the thorax. Packer is actually way more useful than you think, and it's not just good protection against scabs, like many believe. But it's no secret that the protection isn't top tier either, and you will get punished a lot of the time. This penalty also comes with a few solid advantages though. First one is weight. You're always going to be underweight at the start of a raid. This has been a huge problem for many players this wipe, as everyone struggled with leveling up their endurance. The kits people were used to last wipe now make you overweight at the start of the raid. 
The other main advantage is movement. You can actually move around with these. You don't feel weighed down because the packer has very minimal debuffs compared to other armors. Previously, the likes of ultra lightweight armor used to be the go-to armor for aggressive players that wanted to move around a lot, but it got nerfed. That playstyle constantly puts you at risk of dying from anywhere, so running high tier armors in this instance might not be the best option. But with a packer, if you die, it doesn't cost a lot to replace, so you don't feel bad. And on the topic of how efficient it is to run, it also rarely gets taken when you die. You'll probably get your packer back 90% of the time. But I have to say, one of the biggest benefits of wearing packer only is that it's made me a way better player. Wearing the packer is a constant reminder that my life is at risk at all times, no matter what. I could realistically fall over in two shots of the thorax to almost anything. That amount of risk forces you to rethink your playstyle. You end up becoming the best version of yourself. You constantly think about what the smartest play is in every scenario, and it either works out or you learn a hard lesson. This challenge has shown me the importance of good positioning and map knowledge, and that having a good strategy heavily outweighs how many bullets your armor can tank. Remember what I said earlier about armor being a mentality? It really rings true to this point, and if you care about self-improvement in Tarkov, then doing something like this might be the move for you. Okay, let's get back to our journey now, because we're not quite done yet. Slami, thank you for follow. Welcome on in. That's the AK, man. How's he not dead? Now he's fucking dead. I was just a handful of raids away from Max Traders, and I needed to kill one more sniper scab for a huge boost in XP. Sniper scab dead already? No, not like this. I think sniper scab's dead. West done. Not scary at all. Wait, was that a scav town, Magnus? That's like. Let's go, let's go. Wait, there he is. Okay, he's just tanked one bullet. What the hell? He's dead. Oh, no, no, he's in, he's in the building. Close left. I see him coming out now. He's dead. Wait, this thing has no bullet drop. Yeah, oh, no. Oh my! Oh! Whoa! <laughs> Did you just get hit? No. Oh. All right. 13k XP lads, no shot. It's done. We are max traders. Let's fucking go. That's the video. That is the video right there. Perfect mediator. Oh, that's nice. More space. Oh, if you insist. Let's fucking have it. Okay, let's have a quick look at the, uh, the stats. 59% survival rate. I would have loved to have kept it 60%, but you know, leveling up bolt actions just be like that sometimes. How we sitting? 263 raids, 277 PMC kills. <laughs> wow. What an amazing feeling. We did it.
If you made it this far, I'd just like to thank you for watching and I really do hope you enjoyed. I've spent the last five months making this video in between the others I've put out and it's been one of the most challenging things I've done both in Tarkov and as a creator. I've learned so much and I cannot thank you guys enough for supporting me through it all. If you want to show some love, I only ask one thing of you. Go drop me a follow on Twitch because without it, I wouldn't be able to continue making content like this. And if you want to go the extra mile, you know, maybe like the video, let me know what you thought down below and subscribe. All right, enough of the shameless bugs. You're probably wondering what to expect from your next wipe. Well, if I haven't said it yet, I really enjoyed doing Packer only. So much so that I'm going to do it next wipe. I truly believe it's making me a better player because the game feels more hardcore. I don't have a get out of jail free card. If I get shot a few times, I'm dead. And I've really enjoyed that. Of course, we have to make things a little harder. So I'm not going to use helmets either. Why not? Anyway, guys, I will see you next wipe. Hey, Vash, you know love? With the follows? Oh, Magnus, it worked. To do it again, do it again. Oh, follow, guys! For more <laughs> content, please like, subscribe! <laughs>